run for Jones. <laughs> As two outs. Castro. Two earned runs here so far. Helms takes strike one. Clayton Lorenz steps in. Swings out of his shoes. Strike two. Castro winds up, and that is a ball. Westbrook bobbles as Helms will steal second safely. Castro will curve that one in. Strike three called, looking, and that'll end the inning. Arcadia Valley does take a 2-1 lead into this bottom of the third. We'll be back right after this, courtesy of Night Vision Media Sponsors. We start off this third inning with a ground out to third base by Andres Castro as Braden Krause rips a ball into the left center gap as he will reach base safely. Now batting for the Knights, number three, Brant Buzenbarth. Strike one on Busenbark. Second pitch to Busenbark is on the way. He lays down a bun down the first base line. They will toss it over to first base, and Busenbark will be out with another sacrifice bunt for Farmington, their third of the night. Now back to the Knights, number 25, Garrett Tamir. Garrett Tamir steps into the plate looking to drive in this runner in scoring position. Yeah. 
That ball is popped high over the fence. Out of play for strike one. Jones settles in, throws it to Mira. He pops it high, straight up in the air as Jake Pryor will make the catch on his knees, and that'll do it for the third inning. Arcadia Valley maintains the 2-1 lead. We'll be back right after this, courtesy of Night Vision Media and our sponsors. Number nine, Trey Jones steps in and starting off this fourth inning here. Jones takes strike one from Andres Castro. Strike two off a swing and a miss from Jones. Oh, two pitch to Jones is in the dirt. Ball one. Jones hits one to LeBrock. No problem. Out number one. Tiger batter number five, Dustin Mounts. First pitch, D, right one, off a great off-speed pitch by Andres Castro. Mounts the batter in the box. Pitch number two is hit high to the left center. That ball is off the wall. Mounts will get two. As Arcadia Valley looks to add some insurance to their lead. Courtesy number 16, Dakota Jones. Number 16, Dakota Jones is in for Dustin Mounts. Peyton White is in for Arcadia Valley. One out, two one is the score in the top of the fourth inning. Castro checks on the runner, winds up. Whited fakes the bunt, he'll take ball one. Castro will swing and they will catch the pinch runner over from second to third. A little base running error there by Arcadia Valley. And it'll cost him a runner and an out. Castro now with only
only one runner on first and two outs. Tiger batter number seven, Trent Russell. Trent Russell for Arcadia Valley, number seven, comes into the dish. He takes strike one looking. And that ball is hit to short. And a little bobble there by Busenbark as Russell will get there safely. Busenbark still fired in a close throw, but just too much time on that bobble. As number three, Isaiah Gibbs steps into the batter's box with a runner in scoring position. Looking for an RBI right here. Gibbs will take ball one as Westbrook misses the, th the ball there, but no problem. Castro with a 1-0 count on Gibbs here. Castro has thrown a very good game today, although losing 2-1. That ball in the dirt, a great save there by Westbrook as it is now a 2-1 count to Gibbs. Castro sets up, checks on runners. And throws in, and that is hit high to center field. Kraus is tracking it well. He makes the catch, and that'll be out number three. No runs there in the top of the fourth for Arcadia Valley. Still 2-1. Farmington comes up to the plate right after this. Brad Moon steps into the plate here. Jones steps in. Moon takes ball one outside. There is a strike to Moon. Moon awaits pitch and it is outside again, 2-1.
and steps in, kicks and deals. Stee right two on a swing and a miss. Moon waits on a pitch and right to second base, thrown out. Number 24, Gunner Strike one called on LeBrot. As Farmington has not scored since the first inning, their only run of the game came as Andres Castro advanced from third and then home off of a wild pitch and then a miscommunication between the catcher and third baseman as a wild throw let Castro stroll on into home plate. 1-1 one, one count to LeBrot. He takes strike two on a great off-speed pitch by Jones. And that is low and in the dirt. 2-2 count. LeBrot, a little check swing there, it's the full count. Full count for LeBrot. Jones will throw it in the dirt and LeBrot will take a little stroll to first base. Hunter Pierce on the base for Gunnar LeBrot. Number 13, Tappan Westbrook will be the next batter up to face Clayton Jones. Now back to Knights, number 13, Tappan Westbrook. Westbrook fouls a ball out. A one. A one. Jones checks the runners, throws Westbrook another foul. Westbrook in a hole now 0-2. Jones with the advantage. He kicks, steals, runner goes, wide throw, and a great throw by the catcher. Jake Pryor to catch Hunter Pierce dry. What a throw by Jake Pryor as he gets Pierce red-handed. That's the second out of the inning. One two to Westbrook as he tries to get something happen here and another wide ball two and it is an even count. Clayton Jones kicks deals, ball three in the dirt. And now after an 0-2 count, Jones is 
thrown three straight balls and is now at full count. And Westbrook has a chance to steal a base here if he can get a walk. And that is popped straight up and out of play. Still a full count. Three-two count, Jones. Westbrook awaits. Swing and another pop fly high. And this will stay in the ballpark. And a almost a great play by Jake Pryor going to the back brick wall, almost making the play, just bobbled. Three-two pitch. Awaiting. Jones steps back onto the rubber. Westbrook steps back into the dish after the cleaning off the plate by the umpire. 2-1 is our score still. Here it is. Westbrook swings and hits a foul as Westbrook is fighting off this pitch here. A great at-bat by tapping Westbrook to stay alive after going down 0-2. He's got it to a full count, and he's stayed alive, hitting three foul balls here. And that will be a walk. Great at-bat there by tapping Westbrook as he takes first base. And we'll get a pinch runner here for Westbrook. Courtesy runner for the night, number 22, Parker Hastings. Parker Hastings on the base paths. As number 20, Alex Palmer steps into the dish with John Bader on deck if he gets on. Palmer will take ball one outside. Strike one called from Palmer. Even count here, one, one, two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Two to one is our score, Arcadia Valley leading. Palmer takes ball two, a throw down and Hastings will get there in time. Tatum Jones steps back onto the runner, checks on Hastings at first. Palmer falls it back into the screen. 2-2 two -two with two outs. The Knights really scraping for any offense they can here. Not a lot of power shown by Farmington. Only one run on the board. Not a lot of even contact hits. Palmer reaches for one. It would have been low and away, and he fouls it off. Tatum Jones once again will kick and deal after checking on the runner. That ball is inside. Pryor almost doesn't get it, but he does just in time. 3-2 full count. That ball is ripped. A high fly ball into deep center. That ball will be a one hopper to the wall. Hastings will score all the way from first. And this is a tie ball game courtesy of Alex Palmer. Now back to the Knights, number one, John Bader. John Bader up at the dish. A great power hitter here in John Bader as he looks to bring Palmer in from second. Hey, 
Bader takes ball one, a high, I think Palmer will run. He'll get there safely. Ball goes into left field, Palmer's gonna try for it. Left field the throws, Palmer is safe and Farmington takes a 3-2 lead. On the same way Farmington scores their first run to take the lead, they score their third and they regain their own lead. As Bader rips that double, Clayton Jones will come off here as Arcadia Valley will make a change. Andres Castro steps into the batter's box as the new pitcher for Arcadia Valley is number nine, Trey Jones. Ball one outside. Let's go Black Knights. 1-0 count for Castro. Jones' pitch will be called strike one. One-one count for Castro. He digs back in. 
High pop fly. Bader will run with two outs regardless. That it was no trouble for Arcadia Valley. As they will go into this fifth inning looking to regain their lead. Farmington takes a 3-2 lead into this fifth inning. Courtesy of Alex Palmer. And we'll be back right after this. Number 23, Hayden Helvey steps into the plate. One no count for Helvey, pitch comes in, ball two in the dirt. Castro digging a hole here with a 3-0 count. Telvi will most likely be taking this next pitch. 3-0 count. Telvi had no intentions of swing. He shouldn't. It's a 3-0, and that is strike one. Castro swings. Great pitch there by Castro as Helvy swings. 3-2. Full count here for Andres Castro. He pitches into Helvey. He rips it into the left field. And that'll be a base hit for Hayden Helvey. Helvey on first, prior at the plate as he fouls one off. 0-1. Oh, Castro with an 0-1 oh, count on prior, checks on Helvey at first. He kicks deals and that is strike two. That is a foul tip by Pryor, 0-2. Oh, And that is a swing and a miss, and Helvey will be safe. 